Ah, look at that. The Ace of Swords. Truth, awareness, knowledge. Ultimately, you hold the truth. You represent the truth. This other person is lying, is slandering, is trying to get away with things. You know what the truth is. So I guess the message here right now for you, Cancer, is that you don't really have to fight so hard because ultimately you know what the truth is. And ultimately the right people will find out at the right time. Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So, welcome to your general energy reading for April of 2021. Yes, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that this is a general energy reading, so we're not focused on any one topic here. We could be talking about anything. Whatever is most needed for you or for whomever this message is for, whatever is most needed for you to hear, that's what's gonna come through at this time. So also keep in mind that we could be talking to a cross watcher here, yes? So if what I'm saying in this story doesn't necessarily fit the way I'm speaking it or the way I'm telling it, and it fits rather if you change the positions, you, you, you flip it around and we're talking from a different point of view, then fit it that way. Allow it to resonate with you that way. Just make sure not to, to place anything in your life or force anything into your life that doesn't fit naturally. Yes? So, um, I am available for private readings. All of the information for that is in the description box below. Also, if you are vibing with me as a reader, I highly recommend that you check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. That link can be found in the description box as well. Um, we have all kinds of extra readings, so maybe if you're looking for monthly love readings by sign, you can find that over there on Patreon. Daily readings are no longer on Patreon. They have moved back to YouTube in the form of morning coffee as of April 1st. However, Patreon will still continue to have extra readings and an extra community vibe for us to really dive into some extra stuff. Yes? Um, yeah, I think that's it, Cancer. So let's get into your pre-shuffle energies. I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't necessarily... Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Before we do that, let me tell you what we're using. We're using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. To get your general to get your tarot and then we're going to be closing out the reading with oracle guidance from the oracle of the unicorns since we're in the spring season now i felt like the unicorns were a perfect tool to get some extra oracle guidance yes all right now your pre-shuffle so something about this doesn't necessarily feel right i don't know if it's you or if it's the other side of the equation um but what you have here is you have the ace of wands in reverse so initially what this is telling me is that someone it feels like somebody has lost their drive to go forward towards something or maybe someone has lost the opportunity to go forward towards something okay you do have the ace of wands in reverse with justice and the wheel of fortune upright and then at the bottom of the deck you have the world with the Six of Swords under that, okay? So this kind, this, this kind of has a little bit of a sting to it. Like, ooh, ooh, that's, ooh, that's icky. Um, and it's coming from justice. Because what I'm feeling here is, it, it, and I don't want this to sound too extreme or too condescending or like too judgmenty, but literally the energy that I'm feeling for you right now in terms of this situation, Cancer, literally feels like somebody should have known better. Somebody should have known better, and this cycle just keeps going on and on and on. Now, you could be dealing with a romantic relationship, Cancer, in which you or maybe the other person was giving the benefit of the doubt over and over and over again until finally they were just like, you know what, screw it. I don't want to do this any longer. And one person is, is ending the situation and moving on from there, moving from rough waters to calmer waters. And quite frankly, Cancer, this Six of Swords energy here feels very relieving for whomever it is that's moving forward. I'm not necessarily saying that they're happy about it, but I am saying that there's a big burden that's being taken off of their shoulders in terms of this situation, okay? But um, somebody should have known better. And the other person that's not moving forward is stuck in this cycle. The Wheel of Fortune over and over again. And quite frankly, they only have themselves to blame or 
you shouldn't, no one should be surprised. I mean, this is par for the course. This is exactly what they've been through or exactly what they've been doing all, all along. And I mean, this is fair, just, and balanced. So whomever is walking away from a situation or whomever is moving on from a situation, this does have feelings of, um, of uh, uh, romance. But whomever is moving away from the situation is quite justified in doing so. Because I do feel like somebody was giving the benefit of the doubt over and over again, only to find out, uh, find out that they were being stabbed in the back in the end. Now, quite frankly, oof, oof, okay, um, I don't remember what I was just going to say there. Quite frankly, also, I want to say, whomever is moving on from this situation, whomever has basically given up in the situation, I, mm, I know you're kind of hurt right now, but also you should have known too. That's and, and I and I say that with all the love in the world. Like I've been here, I've been in these positions before, and there are times where I just had to sit down and be like, Eric, come on, how did you think that was gonna work out any different? Now, what? Because what I'm getting, okay, look, underneath at the bottom of the deck now we have the six of swords again. Okay, so um, I feel like whomever is moving away here is healing and really fully transforming like this really feels like it was the the straw that broke the camel's back in terms of whomever it is decided to let go of the situation and just move on with their lives you have an individual that is healing from what we could consider in in what some cases what we could consider narcissistic abuse i did just hear that um but you have the star the king of wands and death now, this King of Wands energy, Cancer, is that individual, or is that energy that's kind of giving me the feeling of you should have known better too. Um, at this point, at this stage in the game, you should have known. And it feels like for somebody here who, now, now that's not that's not necessarily going to resonate for everybody because we got to start out somewhere, right? We've got to learn. We've got to start learning at some point. Okay, it just feels like. By the time you got to the point of giving up or letting go, you should have known. There should have been at least a part of you that was like, yeah, I saw that coming. Okay? And it's because of this. This King of Wands energy. This King of Wands energy is extremely selfish. This King of Wands... And, and, and the King of Wands isn't always bad. I mean, I was just doing the readings for the fire signs like yesterday, and Aries got the King of Wands, but it felt good because they were being confident in themselves. This is That was a situation in which it felt properly placed. Maybe some of you might want to watch the Aries reading. Some of you actually might be in Aries dealing with a cancer. Anyway, here in this situation, the King of Wands is telling me somebody should have known better because somebody knew exactly how selfish and egotistical and one-sided the other person was. Okay? But the good thing about this, though, is that you're, whomever here is in this Six of Swords energy is healing from this and is transforming. So, okay, you, maybe you should have known better before, but now you do know better and now you're transforming through it. And I doubt you will ever let anyone like this back into your life to screw things up or, or not necessarily to screw things up, but to, you know, to do that to you ever again. Okay, Cancer, cute. All right, kids, so let's, um, let me clear this up a bit. One last clearing shuffle, and then we will get started. All right, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations in terms of the general energies for Cancer for the month of April of 2021. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Cancer, let's get this five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. 
for my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April of 2021. This is for... And this is five. All right, Cancer. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy. You've got the nine of wands. Yeah, okay. Somebody is really looking over their shoulder. Um, this situation may not necessarily be done completely yet. Um, there, there's an energy here of maybe somebody coming, trying to come back, trying to weasel their way back into the situation, or there also could be an energy of somebody trying to slander the other person, um, trying to use their influence to guide people into their camp or to their point of view. Um, yeah, this is definitely some sort of narcissistic abuse here. Um, but but the, the, the message here is don't give up, okay? Underneath the Nine of Wands is the Four of Pentacles. You also have the Four of Wands. And then you have the Eight of Swords. Somebody, is, it really feels like Cancer, that somebody is trying to use the established energy between the two of you to hold on to this situation. This could be a situation in which you were living with the person. So maybe a live-in boyfriend or girlfriend, maybe a husband or wife, could be a family member, could really just be a roommate. But see, also, the Four of Wands energy here is giving me this feeling of you being stable, sturdy, and grounded enough, solid enough within yourself to move forward. However, you do have this Eight of Swords energy here. Okay? Um, but I, what I feel like is happening here, because underneath the Eight of Swords is the Sun. Okay? The Sun to the Page of Pentacles, and then the Wheel of Fortune again, and then the King of Wands. Um, the King of Wands, but then also the Emperor. So it feels like whatever is happening here in this situation right now, Cancer, that you need to persevere through, not give up on, it feels like the elements that are creating this Eight of Swords energy are being illuminated. So quite frankly, what I want to say here is that whomever is in this King of Wands energy may be showing their whole ass right now by being such an idiot and being such a dick and trying to hold on to the situation, trying to slander someone else to get people on their side. Because underneath that King of Wands on, at the bottom of the deck right now is the Emperor. And I feel like somebody here does have the upper hand and you really don't need to do, mm, wow, you really don't need to do anything but allow this person to dig their own grave because at some point their bullshit is going to be on full display and everybody's going to see exactly what's been going on here and you won't have to defend yourself any longer. You won't have to feel like you're in this energy any longer, okay? The nine of wands being having to look over your shoulder, feeling battered and bruised, expecting or feeling like there are attacks going to come, from, come at you from every which way, okay? Wow, Cancer. All right, so let's get into the rest of this here. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you. We have the Seven of Wands. Yeah, hold your boundaries, okay? You're needing to hold your boundaries. You're needing to hold your defenses. You're needing to, well, okay. You may feel like you need to, and I'm not asking you, and I, we're not saying to let your guard down, definitely not, obviously not, but you, you actually may not need to defend yourself as much as you think. Because with this Seven of Wands here, yes, this looks like somebody has, has is defending themselves against six, six other wands, but the other aspect of this card is coming through right now, and it's the message of, well, you can't really see who's wielding those six other wands either, can you? So in some cases, the Seven of Wands can represent being defensive, being overly defensive in terms of which, or in terms of a situation in which you really may not need to. It's all an illusion, potentially. Which is fitting into the narrative that I picked up on in which you really may not have to do much to defend yourself right now because this person is going to dig their own grave or whomever the other one is is going to dig their own grave, okay? 
But still, keep your defenses up, especially against that person. Like, don't let that individual uh, weasel their way back into your life, but especially if you're the one moving on here. But, okay, Seven of Wands is coupled with the, ah, look at that, the Ace of Swords. Truth, awareness, knowledge. So you may not have to defend yourself that hard because ultimately you hold the truth. You represent the truth. This other person is lying, is slandering, is trying to get away with things, is trying to keep up their own appearance or keep up their image, which is, which I just heard is tarnished anyway. And I don't think that's of any fault of yours. It's their own doing really. So I guess the message here right now in the first half, in the first set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, is that you don't really have to fight so hard because ultimately you know what the truth is. And ultimately the right people will find out at the right time when it's necessary, okay? Obviously, you know, not everybody is going to turn on this person because a lot of people that aren't going to turn on this person are the people that are trying to be in that type of energy with them also. But like the right people that matter, they'll figure it out. They'll understand what's going on and you won't have to fight so hard. You won't have to defend yourself so hard. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. We have the Hermit. Solitude. Uh, but again... The hermit here is asking you to shine your light because ultimately you know what the truth is here. Let your inner light guide you. And I feel like this is, we're talking to someone, we might be, we might be talking to someone that's dealing with a bit of a, some degree of a, a narcissist empath um, dynamic. Um, and sure, there are some things that you're going to need to take responsibility for. Okay, that's part of what the Hermit is saying here. But ultimately, regardless of the circumstances, you need to just allow yourself to shine. You need to allow yourself to shine. And I am feeling like what this Hermit energy is saying is take your lumps, okay? But also, don't put yourself out in the cold. Don't... Don't allow yourself to be admonished too much because you know exactly what's going on here. And in some cases, this situation has helped you understand yourself to a greater capacity. And that's only gonna work in your favor because then if you come forward saying, look, I understand that I was involved in, in this, that, and the third, or I allowed this, that, and the third to happen, whatnot, whatever, like I get that. And I take full responsibility for that. But that doesn't mean that, it, that doesn't give someone the express right to take advantage of somebody else. That is a very strong point. That is a very strong position to be in. Because not only are you owning your involvement in the situation, but you're also shining light on the fact that, for lack of a better term, there was abuse here. And that's only going to make, and see, that's part of what's going to make this other person look like a really tarnish their energy. Because they're the ones sitting there trying to blame and not take responsibility for anything. The Hermit is coupled with, ah, wow, <laughs> the Five of Pentacles. Don't allow yourself to be out in the cold. Do not put yourself out in the cold here, okay? Stand true to who you are. Trust your intuition. Trust your instincts. Just allow yourself to be. Allow your light to shine, okay? Don't leave yourself out in the cold here. All right. Your challenge, Cancer, in the first half of your reading. The High Priestess. Silence. Don't say a word. And I know some of you do because you want to get back at this person. It's not necessary. Zip. Let them do all the talking because they're gonna dig their own grave. The High Priestess is coupled with, oh, the Queen of Wands. So just sit back. Uh-huh, I just heard sit back and allow your alignment to shine and speak for itself. Because ultimately, the universe is in control here. So you don't have to worry, you really don't have to worry about needing to defend yourself. 
because the powers that be know exactly what is going on here. And I just heard, and, they're, and we're not going to leave you out in the cold, so please don't do that to yourself. Justice is being served here. You may not understand how or why. You may not really even see it coming, but trust and believe it's happening. So your challenge here, Cancer, is just to sit back, Allow your light to shine, stay in your, stay in your higher vibrational alignment and allow the universe to take care of the rest. Okay. Yes, I understand that's going to be challenging because for some of you, man, you're going to want to fire back. You're going to want, and I'm not saying to like, not, to not, uh, stand up for yourself should you really need to. But at the same time, don't try and stoop to their level. Don't try and like get back at this person, this, that. Like don't try to facilitate any, any, cause um, because sometimes when cancers are really upset, really pissed off, really feeling hurt and betrayed, they, they may try and get back. It's not necessary. Okay. Don't do that. Cause that's only going to come back to bite you in the end right? There's no reason for you to garner any more karmic backlash for yourself right now. Remember that justice is being served. Always. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Cancer, in the first half of your reading. Oh, shit. There's that Ace of Wands again, but it's in reverse. Apparently, I forgot to put it in put it back upright, but it's coming, but that happened for a specific reason. Because this is a reminder that what I really want to say here with this for you, Cancer, is that you know exactly why you, you lost the passion, the drive, the inspiration to do this any longer. Don't forget that. There is a very specific reason why you stopped engaging here or why you decided you did not want to involve yourself any longer. Do not forget that. And in some cases, what I'm feeling for you, Cancer, there could be the other individual or some other individuals that are going to try and convince you to get back on the horse. And it's like, no, no, there's a very specific reason why I'm not doing this. And if you don't understand or if you don't want to understand, that's not my problem. Ace of Wands in reverse is coupled with... <laughs> The king of swords, dude. Facts are facts. Like, it's straight fact. And and this is, a, this is a type of situation in which it feels like you really did stick it out. Trying to do, trying to find every which way to make this work or whatnot, whatever. But it ultimately, it comes down to what's fair and just. Because the king of swords is like the judge. Okay? And... He also, he also can be a bit of a procrastinator. Like if the King of Wands, I'm sorry, the King of Swords energy, if the King of Swords energy is negatively aspected, he may, he or she may try to see something as many different ways as possible, but take it to the extreme where it's like, all right, look, there are no, there are no other ways that we can see it. All right. There are no other points of view. There are no other angles to look at this from. Can we make a decision at this point? And that may have been you in the past. That may have been the energy that you were working with trying to make this work, whether it was in yourself to do that or whether you were on the, under the influence of other people convincing you to just to not get up, not give up, to persevere, that's this, that, and third. But what I'm feeling here for you now, Cancer, is that you come to the point where you're like, no, the decision has been made. There is no reason for us to continue doing this any longer because it's just not going to work. You are the authority here. You have made the decision for yourself. Now it's time to follow through with it. And you have every right to do so. There is no reason to be ashamed of this. And, and, and if there are people trying to shame you right now in this, leave it be. Don't even engage because it's not worth it. Okay. Second half of your reading, Cancer. First set of surrounding energies, you have the two of wands. And really, I mean, yes, you have a choice to make. Some of you are needing to choose, like you're literally trying to find a new home right now. You're trying to move out of this situation because this is no longer a, li a livable situation. The conditions within this home or this household are no longer conducive to, well, quite frankly, never really were. But at this point, 
your awareness has brought you to the place where it's like, yeah, I really cannot stay here any longer. So what I'm feeling specifically is some of you are actively looking for a new home to move to. You're going to be fine. But also, ultimately, the choice is yours, okay? This comes back, that like, this, the other message within the Two of Wands here is saying very specifically, Cancer, that you have the power to choose. It's your life. It's your choice. Do not let anybody make this choice for you anymore, okay? Do not let, any, do not let anybody try and influence you in terms of making this decision because ultimately, the choice is yours. You feel or you know what you feel in your heart is right, Okay? Two of Wands is coupled with the Three of Cups. I can't tell if this Three of Cups, well, okay, for some of you, yes, this for, for okay, the strongest energy that I'm getting here, Cancer, is that this Three of Cups energy, especially coupled with this Two of Wands, is a celebratory energy. I feel like there are friends around you who may have been cheering for you, may have been rooting you on, but also may have been like, how do we get them out of this situation? Or like, when are they gonna, when are they gonna stop lying to themselves and get out of this? I feel like once you make this decision, there are, there is going to be a support system around you that's going to be very happy you finally decided to leave this person. And actually, this is the group of people that's going to help you find a new home if that's what's going on for you right now. This is the support system that you need. This is the support system that you had all along. You may not have realized it, but you still have it. You've always had it. So don't worry. And do not, and, and I don't, I also feel very strongly. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Not a mosquito. I thought it was a mosquito. Um, I feel like also some of you may be really sheepish to ask for help or to reach out to these individuals because they, you feel like they're going to, to, to judge you? No, I feel very strongly, and maybe this is just for a certain amount of people or maybe like one person, but I feel like very strongly there is a group of friends around you that's going to be there for you no matter what, okay? Obviously, if you, like in the past, when you were still in this situation, they were like, okay, well, we see you, we love you, but Quite frankly, we can only do so much, so we're just going to have to stay on the sidelines. You, I mean, the, again, the choice is and always has been yours. But now that you are in the position to make the right decision, right decision, I, I don't believe that there's any such thing as right or wrong. It really just matters on what it is, uh, what it is we came here to experience and what it is we need to learn in this lifetime for our soul growth. But the, uh, to make the, the once you make the decision they're going to support you no matter what they're not going to judge you okay somebody needs to hear that they are not going to judge you they may they may like, uh, twist your arm a little bit be like <laughs> get a little get their little digs in here or there but it's all out of love okay second set of surrounding energies for you cancer in the second half of your reading you have the eight of wands excellent okay now the eight of wands was at the bottom of the deck while I was doing the pre-shuffle. Um, I didn't speak of it because ultimately it was just uh, confirming that the air is clear for you to move forward. Um, I feel like, again, once you make this decision, if you haven't done so already, there is going to be a burden, a huge burden that's going to be lifted off your shoulders. All right? Eight of Wands is coupled with the Four of Swords. So you may want to take some time to just rest and allow yourself to feel into this energy of clarity and, and smoothness of motion, smoothness of action. Just what I really want to say, and this is kind of weird, but I mean, it, for the, it won't be weird for the person that this, or the people that resonate with this, but it feels like you just need to take some time to revel in how much lighter you feel now that you have released the burden from yourself. I also feel like in this energy of feeling much lighter and clearer, allow yourself to settle into that, allow yourself to meditate through that, that's going to help you bring a lot of solutions and answers to how to move forward, okay? Okay, uh, your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Cancer, is the, the Six of Wands. <laughs> allow yourself to be happy, Cancer. 
allow yourself to take this victory. Allow yourself to honor this victory. Allow yourself to feel this victory. In some cases, this could be a situation in which, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to, um, You don't want to act too full of yourself or too arrogant here, okay? But the strongest thing I'm getting is for you is allowing yourself to feel how victorious you are in moving on from this situation. You have every right to feel victorious. You have every right to be happy. You have every right to feel like you really accomplished something here. Don't let anybody, especially this other person or the situation that you're moving from, do not allow them to take this from you. Do not allow them to dim your shine, okay? Six of Wands is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, yes. The Ten of Pentacles here is representing a completion of a life lesson or, or a life circumstance is what I just heard. You have every right to feel this happy is what I just heard as well. You have every right. There's no reason to feel guilty about this. Okay, none. None. <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome for you here, Cancer, in the second half of your reading. You have the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new start. Simple as that, a brand new start. Start, <laughs> excuse me. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. Very good. You have a brand new start. Don't squander it. Take it step by step. Inch by inch, mile by mile, day by day, instance by instance, all right? Do this thoroughly. Do not let anything slip through the cracks. Cross your T's and dot all of your I's, okay? Take this seriously because you do have a brand new start here. Also, no, also though, I feel like some, uh, there is a good amount of you that recognize just how important this new start is and just how important it is to really take it seriously, okay? And to really start from scratch. Start from the bottom up and build from there. Start from the bottom and build your way up, all right? This is beautiful. I love this for you. I really love this for you. Because what I just heard in many cases is this is the new start that you needed desperately in some cases. Don't squander it. And I'm not trying to say that anybody here really is looking to, but it's just a very important message. So I'm emphasizing it. Please do not squander this. All right. Take it for every ounce of value that it's worth because you deserve it. You worked hard for it. Even regardless of what this looked like in the past, even if you were giving someone the benefit of the doubt too much, it doesn't matter. Because ultimately you reached your goal of understanding that this is not something you wanna deal with any longer. There's no denying this at this point. So you have, you, you are worthy or you deserve every ounce of this new opportunity that you are receiving here. This fresh start, okay? All right, let's get your closing oracle guidance. Three shuffles here. One. Whoops, let's try that again. And actually, I'm going to do this off to the side. One. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Cancerians, please, Spirit. This is two. And this is three. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. Woo, there it is. Beautiful Cancer. You have Receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. Let's read this. The key to unlocking your greatest abundance is your ability to receive. The greater your sense of worthiness, the greater your capacity to accept the gifts, gifts and blessings the universe wishes to give you. There are many gifts waiting to come to you right now, but any guilt, 
shame, or unworthiness in your system will act like a force field and repel your prosperity. Yes, it is good practice to think positively, be grateful, send out desires to the universe, and say affirmations. However, these tools can only be effective if they are supported by the strong sense that you deserve the good you are asking for. This enchantress and her unicorn hold up a crystal sphere containing all of your heart's desires. They are telling you that all these gifts can come flowing into your reality when you heal inner wounds and release limiting beliefs that block your ability to receive. They invite you to see yourself through the eyes of the divine as a lovable, worthy being, and in doing so, to open up your floodgates of abundance. There are gifts and blessings beyond your wildest dreams just waiting to surprise and delight you. There is nothing special you need to do in order to be worthy of them except to believe that you are. So there it is, Cancer. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. Please keep in mind that I am available per per for personal readings, so uh, check out the description box below for all that information. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader, I highly recommend you check me out on Patreon, yeah? Link can be found in the description box as well. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>